Welcome everybody, today we're talking about the shutter on the Canon R6, the different modes, the different speeds, and a little trick that'll make taking photos hopefully a little bit faster for you. I was watching a video about the Canon R3, and uh, I saw that it had a completely silent shutter, and I was like, I'm pretty sure the R6 can do that. So I dove into the settings, and I was right, it does. And I've been taking photos this entire time, seriously, and there's not even a single sound coming from this camera. It's taking almost 20 photos a second, and you can't even hear it. So that's pretty awesome. Let's head, on, let's head over to the desk and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so we're here with the Canon R6. We're gonna go through some of the settings here. So to get to your shutter mode settings, you're gonna go to the first tab and the first page, go to the sixth tab. Here you'll find the mechanical, the first elect the electronic first curtain and fully electronic. So here we're gonna start with the mechanical shutter. Here is what it sounds like. There's that. And then you go to the electronic first curtain. And then we're gonna go to the fully electronic. And I swear I'm taking pictures. Seriously, this thing turns your camera into a smartphone. Like this thing is so, so silent. This thing makes no sound whatsoever. So now we're gonna go through to our other settings for the shutter speeds. Here we have the drive mode of single shooting. We have high speed continuous, plus high speed continuous normal, and then low speed continuous. So with the electronic shutter, you're actually always gonna get uh, 20 FPS no matter what. You can't see it, but the edges here are flickering. And so you're gonna get always 20 FPS on that. Uh, if you go to the mechanical shutter or the first curtain, uh, electronical first curtain, and you go to the high speed continuous plus, you're going to actually always get 12 frames per second. And if you change this to the high speed continuous normal, you will actually get uh, 6 frames for the mechanical shutter. And if you change this here, you'll get 8 frames. So there's a little bit of that and all that stuff. So yeah, they got high speed continuous plus, high speed normal, and then low speed with all of your different shutter speeds and shutter modes to give you different varieties for different frame rates and different sounds. Also just listen to the sound of the shutter in high speed continuous plus. I mean, that is fast, that is really fast. All right, let's head back on over to the studio chair over there and we will finish this up with a small little trick. Okay, and for our little trick today, if you're in single shooting mode, right, you don't want to sit here and accidentally take too many photos, but you want to be able to take photos quickly. Um, typically, if you had it, you'd have to go through and like click it, and then you accidentally see the preview. You have to like kind of half press, and then it gets you back to the thing, and then take another photo and stuff like that. You can actually go through and just half release or keep half pressing, and you can go through and just take a ton of photos really quickly without having to go through and see the preview and everything. And it should hopefully help you take just a couple more photos every every minute. And who knows, maybe you get an extra shot that you wouldn't have gotten before. So, you're welcome. And that's going to do it for me today. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully this has helped you to uh, learn more about the Canon R6. Or if you're just look, looking for like a party trick, hopefully this makes it, you know, something cool and interesting for you to share with your friends. Next week there's a video coming out about my favorite features on the Canon R6. Things that I've used on my trip that I either can't live without or I love or something like that. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. It's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, as always, take care.